Okay, from this video, we want to go explain and the VR features in SimLab Composer. First, I want to explain what is VR Viewer in SimLab Composer. The VR Viewer is a standalone software or application that you can <coughs> Uh, see your uh, scene in a real time like a uh, game engines. It's actually it's a game engine based on Unreal, I think. And here, the VR viewer, you can show your scene in VR viewer. We have two things. If you F4 and render your scene, we have something different, very natural, nice, and good render. The final, this is the final render. You can see it. Take it your memory, this scene, <clears throat> it's really nice. But when you see this scene from uh, real time rendering or uh, sorry, VR rendering, so like it's exactly you export this scene in game engine, this is an VR viewer. You can go here and show in VR viewer. <clears throat> okay, we have three modes for viewing your VR. As you can see, you can uh, see your uh, scenes on a desktop with a mouse and keyboard. And here you can uh, plug your um, VR headset in a PC. Or as you can, as you see, we have a standalone VR. And here you can uh, uh, optimize your texture. It's very easy. You can uh, define your maximum or, or <clears throat> size of your texture that you put in your scene you can close it and here is the most important thing is the sitting that i explained it more first you uh tick all of those uh, settings and select a desktop if you are in a desktop as you can see the sim that we are view will open and this is our uh real-time VR viewer you can go walk through your scene and like it exactly like the game engine and uh, look around it's awesome as, as you can see the the lights are called uh, <coughs> shadows light and the material awesome for more sitting you can hold you, you can click your middle mouse button and you can access all of the sitting that I explained it in a VR viewer you can um, grab your object, you can teleport, or you can, I explained the visualization. To you can teleport to camera measurements, you can add a catalog. Uh, as you can see, you can add any model on the scene, I explained it. You can change the material, uh, uh, select a material, and you can change the material in real time. You can change the light, it's very interesting, I will explain it. You can change the light, it's awesome in the light. You can enable sun and sky, night mode, HDR audio, you can enable or disable the fog. And here you have advanced setting. I will explain it more. Here you can specify which mode to, do you want to um, see, flying mode, mechanical mode, it's for your model that you want to look at in the mechanical mode and a lot of things notes and a lot of things here this is an vr viewer okay <clears throat> if you prepare your scene this is a um, third person that you can what is this yes uh this is a vr start position this is and uh, this is you you can go and change your uh, height, change your position. From this view, you can see your VR view. If you prepare your scene, you can after that, it's very simple, export your VR package file here. I will explain more, don't worry. In the environment, we have a VR tab that I will be explained in details. You can enable or disable the sun, the sitting here uh, directly affect the vr lighting but it's a very different with f4 real uh, real render or final render and i explain it uh, we have a software 
This is an Simlab VR viewer. This is a, a free uh, cross-platform VR viewer. You can download it for a PC. <clears throat> if you download Simlab Composer, it will it's a automatically install VR viewer with uh, its software. If you want to use it in a smartphone, you can download Android or iOS or standalone software. It's very awesome. It, it has a lot of feature that you can use it. I will be explaining its measurements, notes, and anything that you want. If you want to access your viewer, you have something like Open Viewer here. If you select it, you have to first sign in to uh, Simlab <coughs> account. And after that, Okay, this is a tutorial cells. And after that, we have a lot of scene here. You can see the most powerful and benefit of the VR viewer and Simlab lab when you export in the VR here. You can download the scene, but I opened one of them and you can see the power of Simlab lab composer when you use in a VR in real time, <clears throat> like a game engine. You can programming your scene, do a lot of interesting in things that. Uh, let's take the time. It's actually loading. Make as you can see, this is in a kitchen. Here you can simply hold your left mouse button, and you can see uh, the clickable and interactive the object in a scene. Uh, as you can see, we have a dot in the middle of the scene bring it that and release your mouse and as you can see you can close the door it's very easy you can programming and you can uh, like the scene you can go here click here open the anything you have you can open it you can change the scene state here you can for example change the material of that it's very interesting open the doors and do a lot of things in this software and middle mouse button and close it if you want or don't want to save it another important interesting thing is here you can do a lot of interesting thing with uh, simlab composer in a vr for example i open this complex scene here you can choose between desktop or vr here you can add your model if you export it uh, vr package you can open it here you can uh, i will explain it don't worry and add a thumbnail and here you can contact message your shade model and the cl cloud here you can add a model another interesting uh, vr this is factory emergency training you can uh, make a training scene for your for example employers here you can select it if you don't download it you can click and it automatically download it for you and waiting for loading uh, in this scene you can see more power of the vr you can add the sound everything that you want okay head to the second level you can uh, guide your as you can see we have a guide here I explain all of them it's very really easy and interesting sorry you can hold on shift it's exactly like a game game engine and go into the second floor and when we reach as you can see you can hold on left mo your mouse button and release if you holding left you can see the interactive object drop the slider to oh, as you can see we have an issues here and we can turn it down and head to the cooling unit in the first floor make it run as you can see this guiding us to that unit here I think yeah for example when we reach a door it's automatically open you can programming all of them it's very interesting and as you can see this is an VR particle water shower that I explained it how to add it this is a guide plane holding your left mouse button to see the interactive object going over that and you can see this changing the color and release your mouse and as you can see 
interesting things. Awesome. And as you can see, water stop. Here you can open anything that you want in the scene. I will explain them how to make them. Okay, this is very easy, simple, and straightforward. This is a complex scene that you can add. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.